Welcome to Campus Insiders Oregon. I'm Jill Savage alongside Justin Myers getting ready for the 117th Civil War. Justin, this one though looks a little ominous for the Ducks. Yeah, both programs limping into Civil War. Actually, it's amazing over both campuses, Savage, both skies are falling at the exact same time. It's rare that you can see both of them it actually is. in that state, but let's go ahead and jump right into the three reasons why we think Oregon State could win this game. It sounds like we're a broken record, but number three is Marcus Mariota. The offense hasn't been the same since he had that knee injury against UCLA. And when you look back at the history of this rivalry, Oregon State has had a lot of trouble defending the spread. Well, if you've watched Oregon the last couple of weeks, they haven't been running the spread. They've been running kind of a version of it with Marcus being more of a pocket passer and they lose that mobile quarterback. Oregon State has had massive trouble defending a mobile quarterback. Well, good news for the Beavers, they don't have much of a mobile quarterback to defend this week. The number two reason is Oregon's mentality. They have a lot of distractions as of late and Justin, maybe little to play for now that the BCS is gone. This entire class, the seniors that are going to be uh, graduating from Oregon, have always had a BCS game to play for in this game. This is the first year where it looks like best case scenario, these guys are playing for the Alamo Bowl. Championships, BCS Bowls, not on the line for the first time ever for this team. And the number one reason why Oregon State has a chance to win, Sean Mannion and Brandon Cook, some of the best combinations in the entire country. Yeah, Sean Mannion has been struggling as of late, but if you look back earlier in the season, the potential is there. These guys have got big play abilities all throughout the game. So if Sean Mannion can get back to the form he had back in October, he could do some damage to Oregon secondary. Now let's look at the three reasons why Oregon could win the game. Number three, Oregon fares well against pass first teams, Justin. Yeah, going into these games, matchups are always huge, and that's right into the strength of Oregon's defense. Sean Mannion and Oregon State want to throw the ball a ton. Well, that's right into the strength of Oregon's defense, and I'm sure that Terrence Mitchell, Ifo Ekpreolomu, the rest of the Oregon secondary are going to be licking their chops ready to take on Oregon State. The number two reason Oregon could win, it has to be a bounce back game for the Ducks after that disappointing loss down in Tucson they need a game really quickly absolutely and you know their coaching staff has been under fire so we'll see if not only can they bounce back from the loss but can they get out there and bounce back for this program can they show some of the fans that have maybe jumped off this bandwagon the last couple of weeks that there's still an awful lot good going on in this program and show some fight and show some toughness and the number one reason why Oregon could win the game is Oregon State doesn't have a run game. They are a pass first team. That again is right what Oregon wants to see in their opponent. Yeah, Oregon's defense so happy to be going up against a team that does not have a dynamic running back because you've seen what Stanford and Arizona have done two out of the last three weeks. Oregon State has no run game. I mean, I think it would be really an exaggeration to say they have a little run game. They have none whatsoever. Oregon, I think, is going to be with their ears pinned back, putting a lot of pressure on Mannion, and you've seen him buckle under the pressure the last couple of weeks. But yeah, Oregon not having to play against a dynamic running backs huge in this game. The Ducks have won the last five Civil Wars. Justin, will they make it six? Yeah, I think Oregon makes it six. I think a bounce back win in Oregon heading to the Alamo Bowl after this game. But I just don't think Oregon State at this point in time has the firepower that can hang with Oregon. We'll have all of the breakdown after the Civil War right here on Campus Insiders Oregon.